Welcome at Faulhaber. In this video I want to show you how to actually operate such a motion controller and a connected brushless motor and I'm using my demo kit here which is uh, having a MC3001 here the P version with the pin header. Power supply is already connected and you can see the status LED blinking in green. What I have to do now is to connect USB and uh, so let's connect the cable here to the PC and then uh, to the demo kit. Out of habit I'm using such an USB isolator because when using electrical drives you could have a ground shift and then you are in risk of damaging the USB port of your PC and you don't want to have this. So plug the USB, it's a micro style USB, into the correct um, connector here. The one on top here is for the B2B version, uh, so 3001B. Here I'm using the P version and that's carrying its own uh, USB connector and it's only working with that one here. So I'm set now and can switch over to the motion manager and start uh, setting up a connection. This is how the motion manager is going to look like when you open it the first time. So uh, there is the now empty device tree and here is an overview over the first steps and that's what we are going to do right now. So establish connection and select the motor. Alternatively, you could have a look at most of our application nodes that we created for operating these drives. So first of all, establish connection and that's done with one of the quick actions on the left side here. I have to select the used communication interface. In that case, it's USB and the alternatives would be CAN or RS-232 or even a net communication. Follow device devices already found. And I select that one and then uh, my motion controller is identified. I'm finished and now the complete view of the motion manager is populated and you'll see a picture, picture of the uh, motion controller down here. Next step is to select the motor that we are using here. This could be done either out of the device tree or once again using a quick action here. First select the motor. In that case it is a brushless one, so the three motor faces. It's a 2232BX4 motor here and I got a 24 volt version. Next is the configuration of which sensor systems I have with my motor and in that case it's the linear hall systems and I don't have any encoder connected to the driver. As I do only have one encoder, this encoder is used for all control loops, so for uh, commutation as well as for the velocity and the precision loop. So no selections here, that would only be an option if I would have at least a second encoder somewhere. Next is uh, about the power range. I mentioned the power good LED and here is the range that is configured by default. So the actual uh, supply voltage is measured and uh, plus 15 percent is the set as the maximum value that's allowed uh, for a power good range here. If uh, the power is exceeding that range here it might even shut down to prevent any damages from connected electronics. And now we are done here we get a summary of the parameters before the parameters so the selected motor and the uh, control loops are actually um, transferred to the driver. That's what I'm doing here and with these linear hall signals there is an optional additional step here. I can teach the signals into the driver. In order to do so the drive has to be idle so not connected to any load and should be able to turn. So best doing uh, the motor having uh, simply put on a desk and not in your application. And then I start adjusting uh, the signals and uh, the motor is uh, starting to turn. So obviously I connected it uh, in the right sequence here because uh, this motor is running. And now I have to wait a little bit uh, until the uh, teaching is uh, successful. If that's no option for you, uh, you might contact our support about the options or using a different encoder system and not the linear holes here. I'm finished here and can save all the configuration directly in the driver. Now the control loops are preset for 
operating this motor, but operating this motor without any load. And the next step when actually hooking this up to your application would be to tune the loops to your application. And again, there is a tool, it's the configure controller tool, which is used to um, identify the inertia and uh, based on this tune the speed loop and the position loop of this driver. We can try this here. Uh, it's working in many cases. If it's not possible to be used here, uh, then you can enter the inertia parameter manually. In that case, it shouldn't be a problem, so I can use an auto identification. And then there's a page where I could move the motor in the middle of the um, actual range of movement that is possible or can even limit uh, the range that is going to be used, but I don't have to do this here. Uh, next, I start the identification again. The drive is moving, it's shaking a little bit and uh, out of the reaction of the drive, the inertia of my small disk is identified to be roughly in the same size as the inertia of the motor, which is an inertia factor of two and two is more or less the ideal value for high dynamics operation. So that's okay. Uh, I once again get a summary of all the parameters that are now set within the driver. Uh, lots of numbers that are usually meaningless unless you got years of experience with these drivers. But uh, the guideline for these wizards is that we should present all the configuration before we actually transfer it. So let's do this. We are finished. And once again, I can save the settings in the driver and can, could now start working with uh, the drive here using the tools that the motion manager is offering like the cockpit or the graphical analysis. But I think uh, that's stuff for the next video to go into these details. That's what I wanted to show here with the motion manager. Of course, there is much more of it like uh, actually tuning the motor to your application or configuring IOs in case you got any uh, limit switches or whatever. If you got any questions about this, uh, don't hesitate to contact our MC support team or can contact your local uh, sales organization. Otherwise, um, please check back with our channel here and thank you for watching.